Hey everyone, Tim here from cubicking77.com here to do a full review video of Android 4.2, the latest uh, OS version of Android that is out now. Uh, it includes many different features. It is an upgrade from Android 4.1 or 4.1.2, which is also Jelly Bean. Uh, 4.2 is now the latest as of today. Today is Thanksgiving actually, so thanks, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Hopefully you spend some good time with family and friends. I know I'm going to after I make this video, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into the review. All right, so you will see I do have a Galaxy Nexus here and a Nexus 7 here, so, uh, both running Android 4.2. So uh, there are some some differences between the two. Uh, obviously, one being a tablet, one being a phone, there are some differences. First of all, on tablets only, you do have user account switching. So uh, you can have various home screen setups and other various settings can be different. So you will see when I go to my lock screen, I've set up a another user account so I have two now you'll see there's a blue one and a green one I can quickly switch between the two so switching you'll see one has a different wallpaper than the other also you have widgets on your lock screen on your Nexus 7 which is another feature of Android 4.2 you'll see what's the song I can add another one whether I want to add Gmail another clock calendar so those are other various widgets I can add just to my lock screen so you also see that was my home screen of this user account um, very minimal I haven't added anything to it I have an analog clock gallery but also when I quickly switch to my other account here again you'll see I've a I have a Gmail widget on there unlock and I have a entirely different home screen um, so yeah it, it's definitely nice to be able to have different uh, user accounts multi-user support just because um, if you share the tablet whether with your wife with your kids anything like that um, let's say your kid likes to play a lot of games you can set up their home screen where it's only with games and you can say all right use your account when you want to use this tablet so very nice uh, that they've included that with android 4.2 jelly bean that is on uh, tablets only You'll also notice a bit of a difference when you're pulling down your uh, notification bar, whether you pull down on the left or the right side, it actually does matter on a tablet, not on a phone, but I'll get to that in a second. So when you pull down on the left side, you will see it shows up uh, your your various notifications like it always has, your, your emails, your Google Now cards as well. You'll see the Bulls lost the Rockets, unfortunately, but uh, you can clear all, you can pinch in and minimize and maximize those various notifications as well. I also see when I pull it down, it doesn't go down all the way. It only goes down as far as the notifications go, so that's kind of nice. But if I go down and pull down from the right side, you'll see it brings up various settings here. Some some uh, boxes of settings you'll see of owner letting me know that that's the user account that I am signed in on. You have brightness. Uh, you have just go straight into settings here. Also, you have Wi-Fi, auto-rotate. Uh, battery percentage, airplane mode, and Bluetooth. So you have various quick settings. So if I wanted to quickly go into brightness, it brings up this toggle, and I can uh, quickly switch brightness between low and high. Uh, so you'll see that works great. Also, I can go into Wi-Fi settings if I wanted to quickly. That brings it up. Also, you can turn on and off airplane mode. You can go into the battery uh, statistics there. And then you also can go straight into settings, uh, as always. So uh, that's just a little uh, neat thing that you'll have to get used to is when you want to go into your notifications, you pull down from the left. If you want to go into those settings, you pull down from the right. So that's just a little different on the Nexus 7. Uh, if I wanted to grab my Galaxy Nexus here and try those out, you will notice that um, if I pull it down, it doesn't matter where. If I pull it down from the left or right side, it does not matter at all. If I pull it down, it goes straight to my notifications no matter what. But you'll see a little icon there in the upper right hand corner that if you tap, it brings up those quick settings that were very similar to the Nexus 7. Uh, they're actually the exact same pretty much except you have uh, mobile network settings or go straight into data usage apparently. So uh, you have those all those other various settings. You have owner, which you can tap on, and it says this contact does not exist. So it would go straight to a contact instead of being able to switch accounts. Or you can go straight into settings, just like on the Nexus 7 as well. So it's just a little bit different. Also, if you wanted to quickly get into those quick settings, you can use two fingers and pull down, and it goes straight into those settings. So instead of just going down and tapping that icon, two fingers straight down, go straight into those settings. Or you can switch back to your notifications if you do like. Again, same features of Jelly Bean with the two finger that I was showing on the Nexus 7. 
pinch in, uh, expand, and contract. Again, uh, same with, with images. Let's say I have an MMS or a screenshot. Press and hold volume down and power button to take a screenshot on Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. Just wanted to point that out for some people. Uh, but you'll see I can pinch in and out of that screenshot. It shows a preview of the image. That's exactly what would happen with a picture message as well. It would show a preview. You can swipe them away and they quickly go away. There's also a new camera application. Uh, I will get to that in just, actually no, I'll, I'll review it now. So here's the new camera application if I wanted to bring up my Nexus 7 to take a picture of I could. Uh, so here it is, if I want to take a quick picture, you'll see just a little different icon there when it focuses, turns green when it's focused, takes that picture. Quickly swipe from the right and you'll see it brings up that image. You'll also see on the left there that the camera is still running, it still shows it. So if I wanted to quickly go back into it, it, it is really quick when it uh, loads it back up doesn't wait, I can quickly take another picture, swipe back, and I can quickly scroll through all the images I do have. So that's kind of nice that you don't have to go one by one. It, it, it's kind of like a, a continuous wheel where you can scroll through. So that's very neat. Also, you have other camera options here. You have panorama, video camera, and you also have the photosphere option, which I will actually show at the end of the video. I'm gonna go outside and video uh, myself taking a complete photosphere picture which is when you take various pictures one by one by one. It's, it's really hard with things close up. It's definitely more so for things outside or in a more open area. So I'll get to that in a second. But also, settings within this camera application, you can tap anywhere on the screen, and it brings up uh, a whole bunch of settings here. So if I wanted to, let me put this away. If I wanted to tap on the screen, you'll see I can switch to the front-facing camera. I can switch to, um, I have options to turn on and off flash and also have it on auto. Um, you have the, I believe, the exposure here that you can change, and you have various settings, and you can change the white balance as well of your camera. So straight into those settings, you have scene mode, uh, which you can change to auto, action, night, sunset, and party, store location, or picture size. So those are other various settings that you can do change. Bottom right here, um, you can tap on this, and it brings it up as well, so you can just tap. You don't have to necessarily uh, press anywhere on the screen to bring those up, but it is very convenient, quick, and easy to just tap anywhere on the screen and swipe up there. Also, if I wanted to take a video real quick, I can go ahead and touch the icon to take a video, and all I have to do is touch the screen, and it takes a picture while I'm recording. So that's very neat. You'll see, tap on the screen, takes a screenshot, goes away, I can hit stop, and I have that full video recording, it'll actually hear me talking. Um, and then you also see I have these images here as well, just from taking picture, and there's my video. Uh, so very neat. Uh, feature again you can swipe through you can swipe all the way back this is the film strip view you can also go to grid view as well if you like uh, the grid option you can change to that i do like the film strip view especially because they changed it that you can quickly uh, go through all of your images very fast so that's about all i wanted to show for the camera application except for the photosphere again i'll add that on the end of this video or right now it, it kind of depends on how my video editing goes but Okay, so outside it's almost impossible to get the camera to be able to see the screen just because it's so bright outside. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this inside uh, my house here. So uh, you'll see this is the photosphere. I didn't want to keep you guys waiting. So here it is. Uh, you basically, you align the circle inside this to start. And then it's going to go ahead and you can align it anywhere. You just find these little blue circles, add them in the middle. Just make sure you don't go too fast. You kind of want to make sure you have it sit on the circle for a little while and have it focus on these uh, sorry about the the camera it's very difficult to do two things at once like this but here we go so just find those little blue circles again it says too fast if you're going too fast make sure you don't move too fast otherwise it will get a little bit blurry and just kind of look a little strange so bottom right here there it is um, bottom left there it is but you can basically get the idea you see how warped it looks um just it looks so warped on here because again i'm doing a terrible job of it it looks much better if you do it outside so again you can go all the way around you can actually go in a complete circle you can show everything behind you i'm going to go ahead and go outside and take some pictures you, if you add me on google plus i'll add them and you can actually take a good look at all of them and you can click and drag and see the entire thing so uh, be sure to add me on google plus there but that would be the photosphere a fantastic feature included in 4.2 also, I did want to point out that it looks much better. It actually takes a little while to render the photo, and then it, it doesn't look nearly as warped. So here's the photo, 
and it, it looks really good actually so uh, they do a very good job at uh, rendering it so don't be a little don't be a little upset if it looks warped right when you take it it does take a bit of time to render the photo some other things I wanted to show you uh, some new features of Android 4.2 is a whole new keyboard so let's go ahead and check it out it does have uh, just you can use it normally hey um, it has pr word prediction which you can turn on and off in the settings so you'll see it's uh, it suggested hey guys if I wanted to add that I can just quickly are you are you Again, it, it learns as you type, so it'll it'll have better suggestions once you uh, do that. So you can turn that on and off if you'd like to. You can type normally. You also have uh, gesture typing. So if I wanted to say, hey, there, how are you? There you go. It worked great. So you have a smiley face as well. I can get rid of all of that. Of course, you have uh, speech text as well. And I don't know if you notice this or not, but as you do the swiping, so, or I guess gesture typing, you can say this. You'll see it brings up a little icon up there that lets you know what word is going to be placed when you let go of your finger. So, uh, it makes it to be very quick. This is very awesome and works very well. There you go. Uh, again, I mean, gesture typing is fantastic. I'm not one that likes to have the word prediction, so I can turn that off. You just go into settings, and I think it might be under advanced, but uh, you can turn that off, and then it shows punctuation up there. Uh, but I also do like to have the option to use gesture typing, so I'm extremely pleased that they did include that. So, fantastic keyboard. They did include Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. I did show off those lock screen widgets on the Nexus 7, but I kind of wanted to show some on my... Um, Galaxy Nexus so you can see you can swipe over and uh, you, once you swipe over from the right it opens up the camera application so that was quickly from my lock screen or you can add widgets on the left again if you swipe over to the right you'll see it's got a little icon for the camera that will go straight into the camera or if you go from the left you can add a certain widget uh, you can add the messaging widget which is uh, fantastic I, I love having a messaging widget on my lock screen so you can add that you have the clock again opens up the camera directly and you also can quickly get into uh, Google Now. So let me go ahead and quickly show you that. Um, so you'll see down here you have a little circle. Press on it. Swipe up. Goes into Google Now or the Google Search. Um, I don't have my account on this device at the moment. So it's not going to go into Google Now. But Google Search, Voice Search works fantastic. They've updated various cards and such as well on Android 4.2. What's the weather like in Chicago, Illinois? There you go. So again, uh, voice search working fantastic. You also have a new clock application. So if we go ahead and tap on that analog clock, here it is. Um, let's you know the time, day, date right away. Uh, down in the bottom left, you can set an alarm as always. So you can turn those on. You have all your various settings for alarms. Swipe over and you have a, a timer. So if you had something cooking or you needed to do the laundry, um, you can set a timer. Swipe over to the right and you have a stopwatch. So if you wanted to time someone running, um, I'm really glad they finally included a stopwatch. You can also do laps. Tap that little icon and it, uh, it does lap one, lap two. If I want to do another one, start that, I can hit stop. And to clear it, I just press this little arrow down the bottom right. Or you can share those times as well. Um, I don't know what this is. Again, you can add cities. So that's great. So if I wanted to add, let's say I'm going to Denver. I can check that. Or if I wanted to add a different one, let's say I wanted to add Washington, D.C., I hit back, and then it shows the times for both of those places uh, when you tap on that location setting. So you have Denver, Washington, D.C. Again, you got uh, West Coast, and you got Central, and you got uh, Eastern Time. So um, you have all the various times uh, on here, which is fantastic because, again, for those of you that do travel a lot, you can add different times and you'll know uh, where what time it is in different places or if you have family there again it's thanksgiving today so if you got family you know exactly what time it is let's say be at my house at this time you don't want to be late so that's really about it that's about all i wanted to show i'm going to grab my nexus 7 one more time just to show a little feature that uh, google decided to include which is okay i mean it's nothing special if i go into settings um, and go into display you'll see you have a daydream option what that is, is it actually you can choose when it's uh, when to start while docked or while charging or either. So it's going to turn on while you're doing either of those options and you can have it show the clock. So I'll hit start now and here's what it is. Basically, it's like a screensaver uh, again while it's charging or while the uh, your device is docked as well. So there's that you have Bean Flinger. <laughs> 
So you can start that. Uh, it's like that hidden uh, setting right here. And you got uh, a candy cane there, which is a little interesting. I wonder if that's a little hint of what maybe what the next version of Android is going to be called. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so you got uh, jelly beans there. You have colors. So we can start that as well. Just shows up some various colors. It, it's good when you don't need a uh, battery to be extended. Again, when you're charging or anything like that, it's, it's good. You have Google Currents, Photo Frame, and Photo Table. I don't have pictures on this right now, so I'm not going to show you those because I can't. Uh, but that's really uh, just about it. So that's a full review of Android 4.2 Jelly Bean on both a Nexus 7 tablet and a cell phone. So you'll see it's a, a little bit different, but very similar as well. Uh, integrate them very seamlessly. They do a great job. So I love Android 4.2. You have to let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. If you add me on Google+, Plus, I'll... Uh, I'll post some pictures, some photos for your pictures, so you can check those out. They look fantastic on Google+, Plus because you can look around just like you can on Google Images or Google Earth. So definitely add me to a circle on Google+. But again, thanks for watching, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up.